Hi, thanks for watching Dr. Linda Kramer. That's me. Okay, today I'm going to talk about what happened in my own personal opinion. Um, I'm going to leave comments on here as so people can post, but please be mindful to be respectful, okay? Because near-death experience happens to a lot more people than what's actually advertised out there. So if you're one of these people sitting at home and you've had an experience, please do not judge what anybody else says. Because one big thing that I learned in researching a lot of other near-death experiences is that we all have different perspectives of what happens up there, okay? Everything I say today is what happened to me. So therefore, it's my personal opinion. So... If you do have something and you think, oh my God, I had the same sort of thing happen, please let me know by commenting below. If you had something different, please put it in a comment below because then we can open a discussion where people can reply and we get some sort of basis to prove the theories of what are presented with near-death experience because nobody has the definitive answer, right? Okay. So I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there first. Now I've also got the whiteboard here because I am going to draw a diagram today of what I got taught from my great, 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 great grandmother. Her name was Karina and she explained a lot to me. I reckon I was talking to her for over a year because of how long the conversations went for. You know, right now I've nearly been talking for about two minutes so imagine that by 10,000. You know, you're on the phone to a friend for an hour. Imagine that by tens of thousands, okay? So you can sort of understand how long the conversations I had with Karina went for. So the first thing I want to go there with is I love relating back to movies. So the movie that I firstly want to talk about before I get out the white bed board and show you what I think about reincarnation Um in the movie, it was called The Seventh Sign, and it starred Demi Moore. She was actually pregnant, and there was a situation where the soul bank was about to become deplenished. So she had to virtually die to allow her son to refill the soul well. I think that's what they called it, the soul well, okay? The well of souls, or the hall of cell, um, souls. I don't believe that for a start because I thoroughly believe that our souls are eternal. We are pure energy forces. So we can't, de um, we can't deplete or create new ones because our souls have been around since time began. Okay? Time. There's no time in heaven. Remember that. Okay? So the seventh sign where they're talking about replenishing the soul well in that hall of souls I have a lot of issues with that with what I personally saw. So if you did have an experience that you can draw back to that movie and say, oh yeah, that sort of thing, I learned about that, please comment because we're all still learning this, correct? I've got an itchy nose, sorry. We're all still learning this, guys, okay? So please remember, today is my personal um, opinion or perspective of what I saw. <clears throat> so what did I get told what was I told from Karina about reincarnation? First off, we decide through our life contract what lessons we have to learn. Okay? So when we inhabit a body, like right now it's called the Linda life, okay, if you follow this, my soul has lived in many lives, but right now my soul is in the Linda existence okay you're following that bit okay because this is going to be a doozy okay so in my lifetime of being Linda my soul has already before I was born stated through that life contract what lessons I wanted to learn what lessons I wanted to teach other people because it's not always just about us people do come into our lives to teach other people a lesson okay I'll just divert I 
had a, I read a comment just yesterday where a lady said, my God, my child just died. One, it's very traumatic for her, but we must understand here that child knew that it was only going to live until a certain age. And two, we don't know what lessons that child was to teach other people like the mother. Okay, so we've got to sit back and remember that our emotional um, expectations are not always about us. It's also about what we do for others or what others do and bring to us as well. Okay, so we must remember other people here. Okay, so basically what I got told was we all have life contracts. We all have life lessons. So how the heck do we have soulmates and um, other words that people use out there that represent a what I would call like an angelic connection to people because when we reincarnate we can actually realign our births into like the Linda life to coincide with other souls who we've coexisted with before so in a past life let's just go back to the medieval times I may have been someone's husband because we're not always the same sex right same gender so I may have been a man who married a woman now in this existence that woman she's now reincarnated as the man so we're together in the opposite genders okay but it goes far far bigger than that okay and that's what I want to get to today so <clears throat> basically in a nutshell what did Karina tell me one we can pick our lives so we can associate to other souls that we've met before and also we can also assign ourselves to different times so if your soul says oh my gosh I want to be one of the Jews that went through Auschwitz horrendous genocide of the planet then we can be there when World War II occurred during that time of the 1940s when those people were condemned in the gas chambers okay it's a doozy so not only can we assign ourselves to be around other souls that we know we can also assign ourselves to be in certain time zones okay which I'll get to when I pull up the whiteboard. So not only that, but the other thing that I must stress here is that there's no time in heaven. There is no time. Many NDEs say that there's no time or space up there. So what we can actually do is we don't actually just live a life, die and get reborn. We can get reborn in any time because time does not exist. We only base time here on earth because of how fast the sun or our planet rotates around the um, sun. So one rotation around the sun is actually one day. So then they break it down into 24 hours, which is down into minutes and seconds. And then because of the rotation of the planet around the sun the the planet itself warms up and cools down so that's why we have seasons like summer and winter okay so up there there's none of that because you've got to remember one little spot is earth in the whole universe there's millions and millions of suns millions and millions of planets millions and millions of places like earth okay so let me just explain that again before I get out the whiteboard. We can come at any time in earth time. We can be around other people and we can reassign ourselves to be in any time where we want to go. Okay, <clears throat> because right now I get a lot of people asking me, why the hell am I here right now when all this stuff is going on with a certain old talking code, Miley Cyrus starting with a capital V, if you know what I mean. Why wouldn't we be here? Because our souls are eternal. 
And <clears throat> when we're up in heaven and we're contemplating all the lives that we've had, how cool will it be when you're with some other soul up there and you say, oh, yeah, I was there during that part. I was there when Genghis Khan was invading. I was there when the Vikings. I was there during World War I. I was there when man first went to the moon. So you think about all these historical times throughout our history of the earth. Why wouldn't we want to be there for it, right? Exactly. So I'm going to pull up the whiteboard, guys, because I want to explain this so you can see it as a visual. You ready? <coughs> so just bring my chair in. I've done up this general timeline. Oops, and I'll just put it to there so my light doesn't get into it. So it goes from 1980, every decade. Now, right now, we're here in 2021, and it goes right up to 2050. But remember, there's no time before this, and there's no time after that. Okay? So I've got my red pen. Hello, I love the colour red, as you can tell. So I personally was born in 1966. So my life has already started. So right now we're at 2021. So I'm just going to put my line in there of what I am presently existing. But when I and how far have I still got to go, right? So now I'll go to green. Imagine now, in some future, I pass away and I say, wow, I want to be alive during what happened in the two, early 2020s again. So I might, next time, be born in 1985. And I live up until 2045. So right now, today, in the 2021, there's a red me and there's a green me. We're both the same souls. But then what happens if <clears throat> I pass away and I say, right, I'm going to be reborn again because I want to be during this time of um, this event that's happening now in the early 2020s. I'm, I'm this time I want to be a child and experience it. So I might be born in 2010. So there's another time zone. <clears throat> Then you might say, okay, well, this time I want to be an older person, somebody in an aged care who was born in like 1940. So <clears throat> here comes another time zone. How many of these lifetimes can we actually do? There could be hundreds, if not thousands, all living the same time zone as what is happening right now on this planet does that make sense okay so I'll put that down <clears throat> so basically in a nutshell because we do not die reincarnate and get born the exact same day or the day after okay what happens is my soul that's now inhibiting inhabiting the Linda life that soul could actually be here as millions of the people around me so when we look at twin flames when we look at um, soulmates who those actual people are are people who one my soul has interacted with in other lives at different times or it's our own soul. What do you think, guys? Has it gone over your head? Or are you trying to fathom this? Okay? Because this is my personal opinion. And, you know, like that movie, The Seventh Sign with Demi Moore, they kept saying in that movie that um, there was no souls left in the, in the Well of Souls. So, or the Hall of Souls. That can't be true. Because... <clears throat> you know, that's only thinking that we born, then die, then born, then die. So that soul is on a continuous earth time, <clears throat> which can't possibly exist <clears throat> because there's no time up there. And that's what a lot of NDEs do tell me about, right? So 
my philosophy, my theory, my perspective, my opinion. If you do agree, please put a comment. If you don't agree, please be respectful and just say, hey, I love your opinion. However, I've got this other theory. And let's debate this, okay, if you've had an NDE or not. Because, you know, this is why I do this channel, to give people hope about, about what is out there after we actually pass away, right? So, me, Linda, right now, today, let's just go there with some soul. Oh, maybe I should do this as another video. Hmm, I think I will. So, tomorrow I'll do another video on what are soulmates and twin flames. And I'll explain that more in detail, okay? So, I think I've... I've given you enough to think about today, right? If you do want more information, please email me at linda at lindaray.info. Um, yeah, but let's start this as a discussion and get this out there. Because right now, today, we're at 7.9 billion people on the planet. It's, you know, every day there's heaps of births. Every day there's heaps of deaths, obviously. Um about this, you know, you look at any point in history and this and the people on the planet always keep going up. And it's only because the souls are inhabiting or inhabiting more than one body at once. And that's why now so many people are coming out and saying, that guy's my soulmate. That cat is my soulmate. Because we can reincarnate as animals and other living beings things trees have a consciousness my computer mouse has a consciousness because of the raw materials used to create this crystals have a consciousness wow have i blown your mind yet stay tuned because there's a lot more coming and on that note I'll talk to you all again soon bye To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.